lose team with Rocky Mountain Wills and Trusts. And we care a lot about our pets here. Uh, we have two golden retrievers, Sadie and Zeb, and I want to just take a minute or so of your time to talk to you a little bit about uh, or to give you some tips for protecting your, protecting your furry family members. So you may have noticed in the last several days it's been extremely cold here. So the dogs, of course, were, uh, they were cooped up in the house. We couldn't really get them out for a hike or a long walk or anything because it was just too cold for them. Uh, we did try, we even tried, and, and the poor things, we didn't get very far because their paws, it was very, uh, it was very uh, uncomfortable for them with their paws. So what are some things we can do to help our pets out during these times? Well, there are certain things actually you can get and that you can actually put on their paws. I'm not talking about shoes, I'm talking about their, there's, uh, some, there's some different types of products out there where you can actually coat their paws with stuff. But even that, that's not the only thing you can do. Uh, there are a number of stores around town that are happy to allow pets in. So you can bring your dog in, you can walk them around the store, at least get, let them get some exercise so they're not cooped up in the house so much when it's cold weather like, like this. So, Obviously, how does that relate to Rocky Mountain Wells and Trust? Well, we're, we really are about protecting uh, those furry family members as well. So in addition to those things, there's certainly other things any time of the year that you can do. We wanna make sure as we're doing an estate plan, uh, as you're planning out for the rest of your loved ones, uh, don't forget about your animals. Who's gonna take care of them? How, how are we going to make sure that uh, they don't get sent to a shelter if something happens to you? Uh, those kinds of things. And what we can do is everything, it can range ev everywhere from just making a simple plan, uh, writing out what you want to happen for your, for your pet or who's going to care for them, talking to those people, making arrangements, various things, setting aside some money for that, or even all the way up to actually creating what we call a pet trust. And you may laugh, but that's a real thing. It's not about uh, leaving $10 million to your cat. It's about setting aside some money within usually an existing trust just for the care of that animal, depending on the type of animal, uh, maybe $10,000 or something. That way you know that, that there will be funds there to take the, the animal to the vet, to buy food, various things like that. So just think about those things as well. We're here, we care about our pets, we know you do very much too. So uh, just don't forget about them when you're making your estate plan. Uh, we're happy to help you, so go ahead and contact us for a free consult, and we can sit down, we can talk about these or any other estate planning questions or, or, or issues that you may have. Thank you very much.